Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge KW Command App Mini Series. Today is day two, and we're going to start off with contact tasks today. So, yesterday we gave you a brief intro into this KW Command App home screen, and now we're going to get into the contact tasks. So, you can see on my home screen at the very top there, I do have one task that is due today one task that is due soon, and zero that are past due. So if I'm waking up, heading to the office, I need to do my lead generation, and I want to start knocking out my contact tasks, I could click on due today, and it's going to show me that I have tasks to do today. I need to call Donald Duck. So you can see there at the bottom, it says call Donald Duck. It also shows me that I have a contact associated with that task. And you can see that because just below where it says call Donald Duck, the task title is the actual little contact emblem and then the contact name, which would be Donald Duck in this case. This task is due today. That's December 1st at 2.37 p.m. And just to the right of the due date and time, you can see I've got two options. I've got a call button and then a three dot button. If I click on the call button, you'll see at the very bottom of my screen, it actually brings up my native phone app and asks, do I want to make that call? If I click on the number, you'll see it'll then say, okay, do you want to call this phone number? And if I click on call, it's going to start dialing that number. Once I click on end, it's going to bring me back to command and say, would you like to add this call to Donald's timeline? And I can say yes or no. Now, if I was just calling and I didn't get through and I didn't leave a voicemail, maybe I do or don't add this call. Obviously, if I had a conversation or if I left a voicemail, I would definitely recommend adding the call. So I could choose yes. And then I can even put in information about the activity. So what kind of type interaction type? It defaults to call since that's what this task was. What was the date? What was the interaction outcome? So in this case, I could say no answer since Donald didn't answer. And... I could say, call back tomorrow. I'm going to click on save on the top right hand corner. The last thing it's going to ask me is, do I want to mark this task as complete? Now I've got a couple of options here. I didn't actually get a hold of Donald. So if I wanted to, I could cancel and then click on the three dots. And I could say, hey, I need to reschedule this task. So I'm going to click on reschedule. And since I didn't get a hold of him today, I'm going to move that due date to tomorrow. So I clicked on due date. I'm going to move it to December, whoops, excuse me, December 2nd, Thursday, December 2nd. And you can see that these are just rollers. So I can roll each one of them up or down. So we're going to do Thursday, December 2nd. And I can even set a time when I want to do. Click on confirm and then save in the top right. That now goes in as a task for tomorrow. So if I go back to tasks, or let's go back to the home screen, you'll now see that I have two tasks that are due soon. And if I click on that, you're going to see that I have the Donald Duck task from today that I moved to tomorrow. And then my original task for tomorrow, which was to call Mickey. Now I wanna show you that if I go into contacts and actually search for Donald's name, you will see that when we pull up Donald's contact record, it'll show last contacted a minute ago. And if I click on Donald's name and go to the timeline, and we're gonna dive deeper into contacts in a future challenge here, but I just wanted to show you that even though I didn't, I, I didn't complete the task, I did log the actual activity. So this activity was logged in Donald's timeline, which I was able to do from the task menu and now if I go back to the home screen at the very bottom left corner, I'm back to exactly where I started. If I know I'm going to take tomorrow off and I need to make some additional calls, I could always get ahead, go to do soon, and then I can see the tasks that I need to get done. Now, if I know I'm not going to have time to do those tomorrow, again, I just showed you, you can click on the three dots and you can edit, reschedule, or complete any of these tasks. If you're like, oh, Donald called back and said I have the wrong number, I could also choose to archive this task. It's gonna say, are you sure? Is this no longer relevant? Because if you archive it, it's gonna be removed from your to-do list. And I'm gonna say archive. And now this task has been archived. 
the only task that I have remaining is to call Mickey Mouse, which I can do today if I wanted to by clicking on call, or I could reschedule, or I could just ignore it. And when I come back two days from now, instead of having a task coming up soon, I would have one that was instead of due soon, past due, and I could choose to follow up on the task at that point. That's it for today, day two tasks, short video on how to accomplish those. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you how to add tasks from the command app, and then we will dive into contacts further from there. As always, look forward to talking to you again real soon. Hope everyone's having a great day.